Welcome back to Ozarks Tonight. I'm Heather Lewis. Tonight we're going to be discussing providing better resources for child care providers. This is a program through the Community Partnership of the Ozarks. And here to talk with us about it tonight is Denise Locke with Educare mm -hmm. with the Community Partnership yes. of the Ozarks. Thank you so much for being yes, thank here. Thank you for having me. So for those who don't know, let's just give a brief uh, description of Community Partnership mm -hmm. of the Ozarks and what it does. Okay, well, Community Partnership of the Ozarks is a nonprofit organization um, that's been around for quite a quite a few years. I think it uh, started out as Ozark fighting back and then it just kind of morphed into community partnership the Ozarks. Um, we are really working hard to build strong communities and families and resilient children and so uh, we have four different divisions and I'm in the early childhood and family development division. Uh, we also have um, a community, uh, caring communities which works in um, Springfield schools and neighborhoods and um, we have our substance abuse and violence prevention division and then our fourth division it works with um, the homeless and um, helping folks mm -hmm. that um, are needing housing and, and services. Absolutely. So today we're going to be talking about EDUCARE. Let's go ahead and talk about what exactly that part of CPU Absolutely. does. Absolutely. So it is part of the Early Childhood Division and we work with child care providers um, caring for children basically birth up until school entry is kind of our target. Um, the EDUCARE program isn't anything new. We've been in Springfield since 1995. Um, but we cover Greene County, Christian County, uh, Polk, Webster, and Taney County. So we're in five counties um, across our area. Um, the program is funded through Department, Social, Department of Social Services, and so they kind of dictate who we can see. Um, over the years, it's kind of changed. But we uh, can see programs, whether they're licensed or unlicensed child care providers, that are receiving some subsidy for uh, care for children. We're really just a support system, a resource system for child care providers. Um, our goal, of course, is to help um, support an increased quality of care uh, that's being offered to our, our youngest citizens. Absolutely, and you also, um, part of this program, you also have lending libraries and you you loan uh, different learning bags to different child we care do. providers. Talk about those. We do. So um, the way the program works, again, it's a voluntary program and I have three staff members that um, go out and make a monthly visit to child care providers. It's a free program and um, so we take resources out to them uh, and, and support them in whatever way they need. Um, when, they, when the ladies go out and make a visit to the provider, um, they usually leave an incentive, what we call an incentive gift, mm -hmm. um, that really supports the topic or the conversation that they're having. Um, but then, yes, we have that lending library and the, the learning bags that we check out, um, just kind of like a library checkout system. And the learning bags are theme-based. So, um, you know, for instance, we have one on firefighters. So, you know, it's got um, a firefighter cost two minute and books in there about firefighting and fire trucks and puzzles and just different things um, which gives um, child care providers something new and different for the kids to interact with. The lending library is really uh, with some bigger pieces of equipment. Um, part of that is they can test it out and see if it works for them before they would invest money in it. Mm -hmm. um, and some things are just um, you know, bigger pieces. There's a few climbing uh, pieces of equipment in there that can fit in the house, but it yeah. you know, may be, not be something you would want in there all the time. <laughs> um, so you could bring it in for a while and then we pick it up and take it back and, you know, just rotate them through. Now, I'm a mom of three kids, three yep. young kids, so I know, you know, those first years are so important for them to soak up this education. Absolutely. It's also important, though, for that child care provider because being around young kids all day in day in and day out that can take a toll on you emotionally as well do you also provide support for that we do and oftentimes when we go out and make a visit it's it's we're there to listen to them um, child care providing care for other people's children well even your own children really um, it is stressful and it's a very complex um, job profession to have uh, I feel like society doesn't really uh, recognize um, how complex that job is. Um, and we have providers, particularly home providers, who 
um, don't always think of it as being a profession, and it really is mm -hmm. a profession for them. Um, and we encourage them to think of themselves as a professional in what they're doing. Um, but it is very stressful because you're many things throughout one day. Absolutely. Um, you know, you may, you may be mom, you may be nurse, you may be janitor, your cook, uh, referee, um, private investigator. Uh, mm -hmm. Just the list goes on and on of all the different jobs that you hold um, in a, sh a short period of time. Uh, the other piece to that is that um, oftentimes your friends don't really understand what you do. And they think that, oh gosh, you're just played with kids all day long. You know, how, mm -hmm. how tough could that be? Um, but it really is a very demanding, uh, both physically and mentally, job. And also a big part of what you all do is prepare students for kindergarten, too. What are some of the assessments showing um, in, for kids in our area that they need to maybe work on or have more development in? Well, right. And, and we do, you know, what we like to say is we're preparing them really for, their, for that next stage. Yes. Um, because sometimes that idea of preparing them for kindergarten kind of gets, uh, it's kind of like putting the cart before the horse in a way. Um, because we, you know, children go through stages of development and we, we need to follow those stages of development mm -hmm. and support them in that way. Um, but one thing that we know is that our children really need a strong foundation of learning social emotional skills. Um, that really is foundation for learning um, because they have to be able to um, get along and, and know how to take care of some of their basic needs, how to regulate, how to self-regulate their emotions uh, when something doesn't go the way mm -hmm. they would like for it to go. Um, and if we, can, if we can start with that, um, then it's much easier to ramp it up um, really to that next level. One of the things, too, that we're really um, trying to promote is um, being intentional about the things that we're um, doing with children. Um, we want them to be thinkers and we want them to be problem solvers. And um, so it's kind of like we need to back off of a lot of the rote instruction and give them opportunities to really be creative and think and explore um, and just have a good time. Be a kid, too. Be a kid, learning. absolutely. <laughs> yes. Be a kid, that's right. Okay, and for more information, you can visit uh, cpozarks.com mm -hmm. or also call 417-888-2020. And we'll put all that information on our website, ozarksfirst.com, as well. We'll be right back. Okay.